Hi, welcome to Payne's Crafty Creations. Thanks for taking time out every day to hang out, chit chat, craft, and create with me. Today is the box. We have hashtag deck the year. And I got some beautiful cards from Miss Sassy Southern NC Girl. And I love these cards. They are huge. So I'm going to use one of them today to do my deck the year cards with. So let's set this box aside and we'll grab this one. So I have a little bit of everything here I thought it would be really cute and I'm going to kind of have my card show a little bit because I really love that. So I have this beautiful paper, have it upside down, that I was gifted last year and I thought it would be great going right across that. We could have a little bit of the card on the top maybe showing so I thought that would be really pretty on there. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that right about there and y'all know I save my little leftovers in that box and we make master boards with them so whatever we have left over here we're going to be doing that with and I'm going to be using the clear glue not clear glue the um Eileen's glue for this today because I'm going to have some of it showing and I really want it to appear to be glued down through that beautiful paper there and I think that this will dry clear so we can have some of it showing and um, it will be okay so let's go ahead and see where we're gonna put this I really love these flowers to show a little bit so let's get right up to that edge on there how gorgeous does that look huh really pretty I'm just smoothing it out with my hand because I don't want to tear this tissue paper and it comes on a roll. I have seen them at, um, my, not Michael's, um, okay, clear your mind here, flustering a little, sorry. I have seen them at, uh, Joanne Fabrics and at Hobby Lobby and I think you can get them online as well. So let's go ahead and trim this away and as always I'm butting the top of my blade up against that so that we don't cut where we don't want to and I'm going to turn it and cut this side and then we've got some beautiful paper here for a master board later on isn't that gorgeous really really pretty so I'm going to set those aside for our master board later gorgeous really love how that looks and then I have some other pieces here that I thought would be really nice so I have a couple from some crafty friends so I was gifted this by Kim's inspired life and she is part of the collab and I was gifted this by crafters treats 2017 she's not part of the collab but um, I wanted to share that I, I'm gonna use those I believe I might do both sides of the card this time only because it's really pretty so let's see we want some of that guy showing so I think we'll put that one there and maybe this one underneath it maybe we could have that go like that like that so we get down here in this flower but not up there I think that looks cute and then we'll put this one over here kind of like tilt it and then celebrate can go down here that looks like a good game plan right all right so let's remove these layers and let's flip this over and we'll take the pencil we'll mark where we're not going to put glue actually we're gonna cut that part right now so that we don't have excess glue coming out on the ends and we're trying to line up a thing where we don't want it to be and then I'm just going to use my fingers to guide the edge there and while I'm doing this I'll talk a little bit about the deck of the year so it is a open collaboration you can jump in and jump out anytime you want just by using the hashtag deck the year you don't have to do every week the only requirement is that you use a card um, for it you can use any type of card flash cards um, deck of cards you can um, also do 
um, mini cards, like Uno cards, mini time cards, um, not time cards, um, deck of cards, giant cards here. And if you don't have a card, you can make your own card and do that. So um, there are quite a few channels, 34 channels total taking part of this collaboration. And they are, I've missed a few along the way and I apologize for that. They are Tragic Memories. She's new to the club. Um, the Becca JB, uh, Emily's Paper Caper, My Reality Crafts, and Just Donna Maria, Susan's Heartstrings, Martha Makes Art, Kim's Inspired Life, Sassy Southern MC Girl, A Bullet for My Snail Mail, Crafting Rose. She took part last year. She's not taking part this year, but because she was part of it, um, I want to um, be able to share her channel still. And then we have Black Whisper Crafts, Alma Tyser, Scrapbooks and Memories, uh, The Crafting, Shed Davy 727, Ms. J. Oh, I put that up there. Miss J00, Linda's Creative Life, Miss Crafty 42. Annie Creates, uh, Carolina Bug, Maniac Grammy's Homestead, T Friday 77, T Ho Creates, By Mimi With Love, Debbie Jeans, This and That, Barry Kiley, Kelly, Petey Pie Designs, Mary Ellen's Crafts and Halls, Crafting Diva, Jenny Ginger Ninja Crafts, Pam's Treasures, Pine Holler LTD, Diana Loves Color, and Paper Muse. And if I missed you, please let me know and I will add you to the list that I have here. Okay, so that is side one. We're going to flip and do side two. So for side two, I'm going to be using this sheet of book paper. And it's out of the um, 16th century poem book there that I have. So which side do I want to use? I think I want to use the double, so make sure I got it the right way and this one will be going into a new junk journal that I'm working on so I thought it would be really cute to add double-sided and then I will add sewing to the exterior oh I almost put it down on the wrong side <laughs> so I'm gonna push that down and then we'll cut all that off and I'm pushing and going to do that with as well. And that stark white really looks nice against all these vintage backgrounds, doesn't it? Look really pretty. But we're going to cut off a piece of that right there off the top. And I'm rounding the corners as I go as well. And cutting off any excess and then we'll come back and glue pieces as we need to move these out of the way so I really appreciate everybody taking part in it this year and last year there were quite a few channels that took part last year as well and they have um, joined over for this year and a lot of them host their own collaborations as well as taking part in this one um and there's so much fun doing everybody's collaborations and watching everybody's videos that do part do you take part in this collaboration so i thought this would be great because it kind of plays off oh i covered it the flower that was there <laughs> i covered it so maybe we could do it like a little journaling spot so i'll change it and i'll use this side instead so put that on there i think it would look really cute so we're gonna go up here add that isn't that cute and do we want to add a little bit of that no i think it will take away from what we've got going on here with this side and this is one is from kim's inspired life and I've got sun everywhere today, which I love the sun. I wasn't sure if it was going to be bright enough in here. 
some people that come to visit us call our place the dungeon because it's so dark in here. And we're going to put that right there because we're going to cover it anyways. And we're going to angle that one down. So I really love that part. But y'all know I can't just do that. Got to add a little bit of distressing here. So I grabbed my peeled paint distress here but I want to do this celebrate card a little bit before I get that color I just want to uh, make it look a little bit matchy match the paper here and then go around here because I have brown on here already so I'm just adding a little bit of brown to what's already there before I add that green kind of match it up a little bit and then I'm taking I have left on here for brown and I'm just kind of getting rid of a little bit rid of that all cleanliness look and we'll do the same over here and I'm just using the the flat brush the flat brush the flat part of the dauber okay so I kind of like that I think that looks good let's take our dauber and we'll get right into that green now really pretty I like the peeled paint one and I got this one at Goodwill it was two dollars and I know that's not normally the color they are I'm not color the <laughs> price they are that's normally not the color that they are the price that they are oh this is looking pretty and we'll flip it over and add some to this side and for this side I'm just rubbing it against my dauber here and if you don't have the dauber you can go ahead and use your ink pad to do the same thing and to do that you just take it and you're gonna hold it at an angle and you're just gonna brush your card just like that against it just like that and it works just the same as would you do the way you do it with the dauber the only thing different is with the dauber you can get a little bit more coverage and I got mine at Hobby Lobby they weren't a lot I think they were less than five dollars and it came with a couple extras oh, that is so pretty so there is my card and I might bring it down a little bit lower Maybe we can avoid that sun ray a little bit so you can see the card. Nope, it's there. <laughs> so that is the first side of the card. And then that is my second side of the card. Really cute, right? So if you could, check out the hashtag and see everybody's cards that they created for our hashtag um, deck the year. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. And I will see you in the next video.